Hello, my name is Charles Davis, Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis, and I want to welcome you to my channel, the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This video is going to be about the personal brand strategy of Donald Trump, how he won the election, and the things that they didn't tell you. Welcome. My name is Charles. I want to welcome you to this very special video about the presidential election and Donald Trump. As a brand strategist, I watched it intently to see how they were going to pull this off. There were some key events that happened. And there's some things about the American culture that kicked into play. The most powerful thing in America is the religious community. And even the most powerful structure behind that is the Afro-American church. When that kicked in, this took on a whole different complexion. For those that are not knowledgeable about the religious connections and teachings of America, I'm going to share some of them with you. One of the things we are taught is that your fight is not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in high places. When Trump came into office, I mean, not into office. Well, yeah, into office. The first thing he did was he attacked those powers. The first thing he did when he was in office the last time was he went at Congress and he told them, if you want to reverse Obamacare, pass the bill and I'll sign it. He was right in their face. This time, when he came in for re-election, there were some spiritual things at play. In the Christian Bible, it says, turn the other cheek. And the religious community in America knows that. When you study those scriptures, it talks about, it's talking about when a person attacks your character. Turn the other cheek. Don't say anything. And let your persecutors reveal themselves and the people will see through it. That's what he's been doing for four years. The American public became real suspicious of why they were attacking him for all those years and spent all of that money, and the result is it revealed who they are. And we've never been able to see that in public. We've always been told it, but we never could really be sure of it. What played out in this ele election played out and they revealed themselves. They showed how the media manipulates the public on how they represent things going on as news and nothing is off limits not even a presidential election but it goes deeper than that when he came into office this well into this election cycle he used the technique from from the most powerful brands in the world the most powerful brand in the world is the brand of Jesus Christ. Now, this is not a religious dialogue. However, the marketing techniques that they are mentioned in the Bible, these are spiritual principles. He used them. He came on the scene and he talked about how you're treating America with the immigrants and the inflation is wrong. And he stood on it. That is the same technique 
that is mentioned in the Bible of how Jesus came into the temple and told people that they were being sold bogus merchandise and that the Pharisees and Sadducees were wrong. Same tactic, same tactic. He used that. And the thing about it was he came out and attacked it from the beginning. And then he came out with his policy and plan, and that cut the Democrats off at the knees. Because the plan that he has would have been the same plan they would have to have done. It didn't matter which one was going to be in office. They were going to have to close these borders and do all of these other things to fix the economy. And that's what he stood on. And then the thing that really hit it was when the assassination attempt. The religious community in America saw that as a sign from God. You hear him talk about it. It's like your life was spared. Anybody in the Christian community understands and we believe that you will not be killed unless God authorizes it or God will spare you because he has a purpose for you. We deep, we deeply believe that. So when it happened the first time, we said, uh-oh, that's a sign from God, and he, God is fixing them to use this man. Now, we didn't know how it was going to play out. But then when they stopped, the second one, that was like God putting this exclamation point on me. He said, yeah, I, I'm doing this one. And so you need to understand here in America, when we start standing on our religious belief systems, this thing takes on a whole different complexion. I'm seeing old people coming up and say, there's a video of this woman. And she said this. She said, don't worry, Mr. Prump. We're coming. You have nothing to worry about. I said, oh, my goodness. And you got church involved, the African-American church. Oh, my goodness, that's an army. That's a freaking army. They could think about what they were able to do. The religious community was the spearhead for civil rights. And when he stirred up that pot, it was inevitable that he was going to win. And so now we have seen how this played out. I'm going to do another video. If you liked what I've shared this time, I'm going to share another one about Miss Kamala Harris. Because her karma, this is another thing, karma. Her karma came up and attacked her. Because, and I'm going to do a video on that, and Trump's karma protected him. My name is Charles the Marketing Maverick. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you.